guys, thank you for joining me today. Uh, today what we have is Bandai's 172nd scale TIE Interceptor from, of course, Star Wars. I'm uh, not going to do so much of a review. I've already started to build on this. Um, if you watch my other video about the TIE Bomber, the 144th scale TIE Bomber and regular TIE set, I mentioned that I was going to try to light this and use this in the Death Star Trench uh, diorama. So uh, I've already got started, and I'm just going to kind of go over where I'm at with that. And one of the great things about this kit that I love is that they actually do the solar panels uh, in black. You know, that's always one of the biggest things is uh, a lot of these uh, the, these wings with the solar panels are always one piece, and you have to do a lot of masking, and there's a, little, a lot of sharp edges, and just difficult to, not impossible, but it just takes a lot of time to mask that off. So here you get these... Uh, already in black, um, you, know, you know, you can put some more black on it. I'll probably just uh, dull coat it down, and uh, that would be great. So, a big time saver there. Plus, it just will have a lot better look overall. So, really happy with that. So, onto the uh, body. I mentioned that I was going to try to light it. So, I'm working on the body here. And what I'm going to try to do is uh, just light this using one uh, three millimeter red. Uh, LED. So I have this uh, red LED, it's three millimeter, and I'm going to be placing that in the body. So I'm just working on the body here. You can see I've already installed. I haven't did any painting. I'm not going to paint the inside. I did a little of uh, um, Tamiya Penaline uh, wash for the inside. Uh, it's not going to be terribly visible. And you can see where I have a red fiber octant running out. I drilled out the holes for the back engines. Uh, those are in red. So and the cockpit is usually done in a red. So my plan is, is I've uh, kind of drilled out a little bit of a hole for our, our red LED. Uh, I'm just going to put that up there. It's going to uh, do, uh, illuminate a lot of the inside here. And then I'm going to run these fiber optics down in, the, in toward that red LED. So that will bring our light to here. Obviously, I'll need to trim this up. But I've drilled it out. Now, there's two parts you have to... There's a... The outer shell and then the inside of the cockpit um, so you'll need to put those in when you drill so you can get your holes lined up and uh, I, you can't really follow the instructions in, on that to get this lined up right so I didn't have much of a problem doing that and getting this fiber optic installed in there so I run those and that'll give us lighting for that um, I don't think I'm going to try to light the uh, weapons on the front uh, this canopy uh, inside the cockpit and the engines will be lit so Pretty excited about that. Uh, my plan is to use the supplied base. Now, obviously, I didn't use the uh, stand here. Uh, one of the things I do, uh, another thing I like about this, these Bandai kits, is they actually the stand connects like right here, but they give you a little piece to fill that in. So it's almost invisible where that stand connected. Now, I drilled out a uh, hole that still has to be glued in, and I've cut away a, um, part of the framework right here, as you can see. I installed a magnet. And I'm going to be running this off this uh, three volt watch battery. Now it's only three volts, so <clears throat> I've already tested it. My LED doesn't need a resistor for three volts. It works fine. Let's see if I can, uh, as you can see right there. Whoops. Let's try this again. See if I can. Uh, it runs fine. It doesn't burn out. And it gives you uh, plenty of light for what I'm going to do. So I don't have to hook up a resistor. I can hook this straight up. And this is just a little uh, three-volt um, holder that uh, I got off eBay to hold this watch battery. And so that will work good. But anyway, it's going to just uh, simply put that magnet in here. And that will hold this in place. Uh, I've drilled out a spot for a uh, little micro switch. So that'll go in here, and then we'll have our little switch, on and off switch, and then we can run our wires up through this brass tubing. Here I got the uh, bottom of the TIE fighter already drilled out for that. Still have to glue that in place, but that will hold not a lot of weight, so we don't have to worry about uh, doing any super glue. Should probably hold that just fine. But we'll paint all this up, uh, but everything will be self-contained in that stand. So uh, again, we're only using that one. Uh, LED and that one little three volt battery and it should should be able to get all our lighting So that's where we're at with that and we'll just keep moving forward with this All right, just working on getting my uh, engines and 
cockpit lit up. As you can see, I got my fiber optics kind of run through. Now I did switch fiber optics. I did have a red 0.75 millimeter. I went to a clear um, one millimeter uh, fiber optic for it. Our light's going to be red, so we don't have to have colored fiber optics. Uh, as you can see, there's a bend in them. I just took a lighter and kind of held it underneath. You don't want the flame touching the actual fiber optic. Just hold it underneath for just a split second and it'll come pliable. Uh, you want to make sure you check it that you don't kink it. Uh, you want it to be a smooth bend to be able to transfer the light. But I have checked it and it does bring the lights to the tips here. Now I'll leave that like it is until I uh, paint it and then we'll trim those to size. I'm going to put up some uh, decals on the inside, the little panels. Uh, the light will be in here, uh, as I said earlier. We have the base here, uh, and now glued on the support rod, and just use some super glue, and as you can see, put on a black coat of paint. And I also went ahead and it was just with some Vallejo, and this is their Mecca Collection Pure Black. I went ahead and painted over these black pieces, kind of get rid of that plastic look, kind of compare it uh, next to the sprue, dulls it down quite a bit. So I did that on the solar panels, and also I did a little of that black paint over this front section of the cockpit, and then I'm, while I was still kind of drying, took a Q-tip and rubbed over um, to kind of bring out that detail in there. So that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm just, I need to work on start getting it together, and also need to do the wiring for the switch in our battery compartment. Now that this is, uh, I'll probably go ahead and paint this uh, first. And then we'll add in the switch and the wiring uh, between our different components right here. All right, here I have uh, most of the uh, ship ready to go to be painted. It's connected to the stand. Uh, I have a little cleanup to do with the wiring, uh, but the wiring's all in place. Uh, we have our, our button right here. I already painted the uh, base up. Just did a, a black coat over with a light gray. But you can see by the fiber optics that my lighting's working. So that's a good sign. And so now I'm going to paint it. And I'll have to paint uh, the edge of the, uh, uh, the wings here, or paint these, the framework of the wings uh, first. And then we'll apply the solar panels after they're, uh, these parts are painted. So I'm going to get this all painted up, and we're getting close to have it done. I think I'm just going to go ahead and finish up. I'm going to do my basic painting. I'm going to do a uh, just a black uh, base coat on it and then go over. I'm still undecided if I'm going to do the gray or maybe have that slight bluish tone that I think tie interceptors often have. I'll probably do that, probably look for something like that. But I'm going to go ahead and paint it up um, and maybe do a little bit of a wash to bring out some of the details and a little cleanup. But when I come back, um, uh, we'll just finish up with the completed model. All right, well, here is our finished Bandai TIE Interceptor in the 172 scale. Uh, this was a very fun project. I'd highly recommend it. They're not very expensive. I think I paid like 21 bucks on this for this on uh, Amazon Prime. I, uh, of course, uh, lit the uh, model, so we'll go ahead and turn it on. We got our switch right here, so we'll get that on. And you can see how it uh, illuminates the uh, interior. Not overly bright, but I didn't want it to be some glaring light. Just uh, a hint of red. Let's see if I can cut off the lights and make that a little bit more pronounced. But you can see that it does have a red glow inside the cockpit. You can probably see it better from that angle. And then we have our engines, and I think those turned out well. Again, those are one millimeter fiber optics, uh, bringing the light from that LED that we mounted in the bottom. Now to finish up the paint job, it was my own mixtures of paint. I wanted to have a kind of that slight blue tint, and uh, the camera's coming out a little bit uh, like that. Didn't want it to be overly blue, but I didn't want it to be that flat gray either. So it was just kind of my own mix of uh, some grays, some blues. I even mixed in some Vallejo steel color in there. And uh, it, it, I couldn't even tell you. It took a, I was just mixing in a little cup before I got the color that I'm happy with or was happy with. And uh, I painted all that and then assembled it. And remember our solar panels were different or, or a different part. So you assemble all that framework around it. It gives you nice clean lines around those uh, edges without having to mask off. After I got done with all that, I put a clear gloss coat on it. 
And then I just went with all the panel lines and used some of the uh, Tamiya panel line accent color uh, to darken up some of the uh, panel lines and bring out some of the detail. And then I finished up with a uh, Vallejo matte finish, matte varnish to uh, dull it all down and protect everything. So very happy with the project. Again, it's a very simple way to light this. It, uh, it's a little tight in space in there, but um, you know, with one LED, I, I managed to give the lighting, fed a lighting effect of the cockpit and the uh, the engines, which it gets its name, the twin ion engines. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, video. It's a fun project. Until next time, everybody have a good one. Thank you.